I've always explained wine as being a piece of art. A bottle of wine is a piece of art. I'm not a wine dealer, I'm an art dealer. And people, people, uh, you either know how to drink it or you don't. Huh? Uh, you either respect it or you don't. To give you my background, my family have always been involved in uh, sort of farming, uh, one way or another. And uh, over time, it sort of gets, I believe it gets instilled into your, 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 your genes. So my name is Steve Burnett, I'm the manager here at Steep Hill Wines. Um, we, run, uh, we run a wine store, we run a wholesale uh, side of the business as well. We run tastings throughout the year. And actually now one of our biggest uh, components of the business is gin. Uh, we're selling more gin than we ever have done before. I, I met my wine producer in, in Germany, uh, Peter. Um, my, my uncle lives in, uh, in the this southern part of Holland and when I was uh, much younger he knew I had an interest in, 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 in wine and wine production and we decided to go across to, to, to Germany um, one day and visit the, the Mosel and he had organised this, uh, uh, this, this tour and tasting of, uh, of, of Peter's uh, winery and, and vineyard and I was there for about five minutes, I'd obviously done all my homework beforehand and started talking to Peter and he turned around to me and said why don't you come back for the harvest, why don't you come back and start doing a bit with us, so I did and uh, he thought I was only going to be there once but I ended up being there several times and, and, and just working again and again and again. I started out as just a, a, a generic picker. Uh, I then became a harvest manager, so I was I was I was uh, organising people and putting people in places, um, and working as a, a just a harvest hand. That's how I started out. I understand what the um, what the local uh, need is, what what their what their requirement is in a in a bottle of wine. And I will take the uh, take the wines and, and and see what I think I can get away with and what I think I can choose. And as an example, uh, I have wines uh, over here. I have a wine from Romania, one fr uh, one from Germany, one from Austria, um, obviously one from uh, Slovenia as well. And it's it's uh, them wines. A few years ago we would never have been able to get away with selling them. Now is a different story altogether, we can. It's a, uh, it's, 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 times are changing. I think so long as you can show people why they should be buying it, forget what it is and where it's from, if it suits you, then yeah, it's all good. My favourite kind of wine, uh, I have to, I have to take the bias towards Slovenian and uh, German wine, um, more of the northern Slovenian uh, wines, so uh, your, your Rieslings, your uh, Traminers, your Gewurztraminer um, are, are all really quite important to me and of course they've been instilled into me from uh, working in Germany um, all this time ago. The, the Slovenian wine is not really um, that widely known in the UK. There's not that many Slovenian wines here, they're not, um, you can't find them in many places. As far as I know, I'm one of, I'm one of very few people to uh, import Slovenian wine into the UK at the minute and uh, they're producing some beautiful wine, you know, you've got the, this beautiful combination of um, uh, Croatia, Hungary, Italy, Austria in there as well. And you've got this, this sort of meeting point of all the countries uh, all pulled together and it's producing these, uh, these, these most beautiful ones as well.